Well, different cultures, of course, have their own Christmas traditions, but Danny, you got to check out one of the favorite traditions here in Colorado. Yeah, we're heading down just two miles south on Broadway to a restaurant called Adelitas, where they specialize in the historic Mexican tradition of making tamales. Yeah. Oh, huh. look at that. They've been taking requests for a hundred of them for weeks. So the tamale is a corn-based dish that actually dates back to the Aztecs and the Incas. It's been around for a long time, and we'll get to what's inside there in a second. But first, let's hear from the owner, Sylvia, who actually mm. uses her grandmother's tamale recipe mm. at the restaurant. In Mexico, it's traditional at Christmas. When I was a little, um, my grandma and my mom, they always make, and, and we always make with them. So that was a lot of family party, make tamales. So the most important part is the masa, which is made of ground corn and lard, and then gets put inside a corn husk with chicken chili, or mm. beef, or pork, or veggies. But why would I just tell you that when you can watch me mess it all up? <laughs> Carolina, she's going to show me how to make a tamale. Primero vamos a agarrar las hojas de tamales. Ponemos... Ah! Ay. Pa abajo acá. Uh, oh, uh. wrong, uh oh. Uh, I did it on the wrong side? Hey. Oh no, oh no. Lo extendemos bien. Y el pollo. Con eso. De aquí, de aquí. Oh, uh, fold it, okay. Uh -huh. Pinch it here, uh -huh. okay. Mm. Okay, Listo. fold, and then. Uh -huh. That's for me. That's for that. <laughs> we go to the little table. You know, I'm sorry. If it tasted good, that's all that matters, <laughs> right? Happy. And it did. This is my first ever bite of a tamale really? at this very moment. I was overwhelmed. Uh -huh. I was actually a little emotional. I immediately hugged her because I just couldn't <laughs> believe how good that was. But why would I hold that from you? These are tamales not from Adelita, so we have in the studio for you, Nicole, Katie, and Jason. These are from our producer, Steve's Mama Rosa, who makes them every year. Oh, oh fantastic. So. Well, thank you yeah, for bringing these they to us. So yeah, thank good. you, Steve. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, usually I go to La Casita, mm. which is over we at 35th and That's your spot? Oh, La Casita, is, they have the best tamales in anywhere. Nicole, I stole your knife. I'm sorry. You can have Oh, no, you're knife. fine. I'm just going to take a oh, little. Oh, you're good? Yeah, we'll just take a little bite here because we're going to eat this while Katie does weather here. Aww, so, you, yeah, you, you're the first nice. one to ask me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm. Um, but yeah, what That's a great delicious. tradition. Yes. We're well, so glad it's made it to Colorado. In, in New Jersey, I guess this isn't a, a big thing. I had never, never had, had one. one. Yeah. It was my first one. What I love about it, and this is like the novice's mm. take on tamale, it's like, there's like this like warm corn layer, you know? It's very mm, like yeah. holiday, mm. makes you and feel good. And the reason good. We, we eat them, like my mother-in-law comes from El Paso, where they say this is mm -hmm. opening a gift. And that's why you have it on Christmas Eve.